living on the river, that's the price you pay. So like I said, river living is fun until it's not. A campsite in Arcadia reopened today. It was under 25 feet of water after Hurricane Ian. It's been more than three months since they've seen campers. As NBC2 Samantha Serban, she's local today, showing us the excitement to come back. Lines have been forming here at the entrance to the Peace River campground all day long. But back on this day in September, cars couldn't even get in. The water levels reaching the roof of this building. We definitely like it not underwater. <laughs> Summer Limpino is thrilled to be showing us around the Peace River campground again. You may remember back before Ian, we took a ride through the park that was already flooded. Then when the Cat 4 storm hit, we could only reach the place by boat. We knew it was going to flood, but we had no idea it was going to flood to that extent. Limpino and her family had three feet of water in their home, and RVs were basically taken over by the river leaving a lot of work to do before anyone could come back to enjoy the acres of wilderness. All these sites had lots of sand on them, so we had to pressure wash all the sites. We don't have ice and propane, and it's going to be a while before we can get those things, so people have to come prepared. Regardless of what they don't have, they do have plenty of visitors now, like Lori Parr, who couldn't wait to come back. We love it. We love it. We go down in the water. We just hang out down there. Everybody's friendly. Others, like Paul Massey, live here and have been part of the rebuilding process. It's been really, really quiet these last uh, months over here. Everything's getting back to normal. It's nice to see a little life back into the campground. Whether it's residents or rookies, this place is full this weekend, and that's exactly the way the Limpinos like it. Finally, some color and livelihood back in the park. Local Today in Arcadia, Samantha Serban, NBC2. The Naples, but.